Hello and welcome to a short video which we hope will help you to better understand the capabilities of Liftit and how to operate it. Here you can see the Liftit lifting aid going through the whole process of putting away a dumbbell training weight onto its storage rack. Now we'll take a look at the user interface and how to use it to control the Liftit lifting aid. Firstly we will learn how to control forwards and backwards movement. Either side of the main control pod are two handlebar mounted forward and backwards buttons. On the left, the button for forwards, and on the right, the button for backwards. Now we'll learn how to operate the lifted pinching mechanism. The grips on the handlebars move slightly from side to side. When pushed apart, the forks will open, and when pushed towards each other, they'll pinch together. Now we'll look at controlling the flipping action. On the left hand side of the control pod there is a rotating control. Push away from you to flip the forks upwards and push towards you to flip them down. Now we'll look at how to lift the load up and down. The right hand rotating controller controls up and down movement respectively. Pushing the control away from you will raise the fork and load upwards. As this happens, lift it will lean backwards to hold the load over the centre of gravity while the Segway technology keeps everything stable. Now we'll look at the pinch release button. The pinch release button is found on the left hand side of the control pod. This safety feature is a requirement to press before having the ability to release the forks to help prevent accidental release of the load. And finally in this video you can see all the lifted movement features working together.